The control panel has a light that turns on to warn you that the battery is at a low state of charge and that it's time to charge the battery. You can also turn the battery off by pushing and holding the button uh, for a little less than 10 seconds until the display turns off. That disconnects the DC output from the battery's BMS uh, and is effectively disconnecting the battery. The, to turn the battery back on, you just push for a second until the display turns on. You'll notice the software rev. Uh, you'll use that for reference. Now you have a top line and a bottom line. The top line is controlled by the left button. The bottom line is controlled by the right button and allows you to scroll through the same pieces of data for both. So you can show whatever two pieces of data you, you feel is more important to you. Uh, we're gonna change the top line right now. We're at 581.2 amp hours capacity or 7,671 watt hours. This is our fuel gauge. This is our fuel gauge in a percentage, which gives us a 96% state of charge. We're drawing 5.4 amps right now. If this was a positive number, that would be charging. So you'd see a positive and then a number and then amps, which is 68 watts, 68 watts, 13.2 volts, 41 degrees Fahrenheit, that's the battery temperature. This is a, a function code that you'll use for troubleshooting. Uh, if you ever have to call tech support, that's the number that they're gonna be asking for. And now we're back to amp hours.